Doris Altman, 65 years old at the time, was coming back from her casino job in Atlantic City when Sandy hit. Living right here behind me on New York Avenue in the city, she saw the floodwaters come in just as soon as she got home. Knowing she was in trouble, she grabbed her belongings and got out the door as quickly as she could. She had to hold on to a fence in one hand and her belongings in the other as she made her way across the street where she could find safety in the All Wars Memorial Building. As storms grow more powerful, New Jersey's oldest residents are seeing the most risk. Sandy was a historic event, but for Atlantic City, Atlantic County, and the surrounding counties, the threat of rising tides due to more extreme storms is a growing threat. And for people like Altman, now 75 years old, they face the highest risk. In South Jersey, there are more than 1,700 residents over the age of 85 whose homes would flood if another storm like Sandy struck. That's according to Climate Central, a nonprofit news organization based in Princeton, New Jersey, that reports on climate issues. The group found at-risk seniors in Brigantine, Atlantic City, Vetner, Margate, Ocean City, and Long Beach Island. In one Ocean City neighborhood, nearly one in five residents is over the age of 85. The senior population is rising along the shore as well. Cape May, Atlantic, and Ocean counties also an increase in the percentage of residents over the age of 65. Sea levels have risen 17.6 inches from 1911 to 2019 in Atlantic City, according to a Rutgers report. Nearly half of that increase is due to humans. Left unchecked, though, the man-made contributions to sea level rise will only increase. Some seniors can have friends or family help them evacuate, but not everyone is that lucky. In some cases, waters can rise before help can arrive. Ventnor City's Fire Chief Mike Cahill said that they needed to rescue seniors during Superstorm Sandy. In one instance, a woman had about six inches of water in her apartment. Outside, four feet. The rescuers had to go and blow the door open and instruct her to go upstairs. Moving seniors often takes special care and time. Medical supplies and information needs to be collected. Some elderly are on machines that require constant power. Michael Greenberg is an expert in environmental health and risk analysis at Rutgers University. He has studied the impact of Sandy on seniors. During Sandy, nine senior citizens died falling down the stairs because they did not have a working flashlight when the power went out, he said. People become more frail over the age of 75, according to his findings. Another challenge after Sandy was a reckoning of home development. Sandy damaged or destroyed 364,000 housing units. The realization prompted the Federal Emergency Management Association, also known as FEMA, to require at-risk homes to be elevated. And for seniors, that means more steps to climb and more money to protect their homes. Those extra steps pose a risk to the elderly, said Anna Maria Bukvik, a researcher at Virginia Tech who has studied the problem in Cape May County. In 2017, Altman had her house raised on New York Avenue in Atlantic City. That was paid in part by the Hazard Mitigation Grant Program by FEMA. Now, four steps take her up to a landing, where she can rest if need be. Then, another three steps takes her up to her porch. She says she believes she can be safe there, but is not too sure. Town officials say they've taken extra precautions to safeguard seniors. One protection is the state's Register Ready Program which identifies seniors who will need help in an emergency. The site, registerready.nj.gov, is voluntary and confidential. For the Press of Atlantic City in Atlantic City, I'm urologist Joe Martucci.